Okay, hello and welcome to part two of my introduction to Random and Fermaya. This is where we left things the first time. I actually have an aircraft sitting on um, ground in the middle of a warehouse. Um, rendering quality not looking tremendous so far. How are we going to actually improve on this? A couple of things we want to do first. Uh, first thing I want to do is actually have a look at some of my Random Man settings under the Random Man menu up here. And up here we've got Render and Radio Button. Rendering threads I currently have set to one. I've got eight, well, I've got four cores running, um, but they can actually multi-thread, so eight cores will make it render quicker. My last render time was 13 seconds. Let's just see what it does for me now. Um, 13 seconds is now going to be four seconds. Always worthwhile doing, especially seeing as we're going to be increasing our quality. So let's have a look at some of the global settings. Okay, global settings that I've got here. Here are my globals. The most important feature for quality in Renderman is the shading rate. Five is reasonably okay for draft. Somewhat counterintuitively for some people, the lower the shading rate, the better the quality. Basically, basically what shading rate relates to is the number of pixels which are being sampled. So at a rate of one, each pixel is being subsampled. Um, at 100, it's only every 100 pixels. So dropping this down to shading rate of 1, and we should get rid of a lot of the artifacty look that we have here. Let's just try that now. And render. Looking quite a bit better. Still not perfect, but significantly better than the last one. If I go back up to, say, 10 here, I will actually save these. I forgot to do it the last time. So I'll render that. It'll be incredibly quick. Worthwhile doing for um, for tests, and I'm going to save that. So save that image, and drop it down to one, and render. Much better, slightly longer render. So the next thing we can do to actually improve the look of this would be to actually change some stuff in the environment sphere. Um, Let's have a look what's in there at the moment. At the moment, we have 16 samples. I'm going to bump this up. 16 is incredibly low. Um, 128 will probably give me much nicer results. 128, basically, the number of samples which are being taken from this sphere. And save this image. And render again. Again, it will take slightly longer. But that's starting to look an awful lot cleaner. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Um, still not quite happy with the way in which the lighting is looking. Now the reason for that is the render viewer in Maya doesn't actually compensate for the fact that the light is um, linear and everything inside Renderman is calculated on a linear basis. So what I want to do now is I want to actually change the output for Maya so that I can actually see it in a linear workflow. Um, I just go to my default settings here under Final and under Outputs and RGBA, which is here. Whoops, didn't mean to turn it off. My exposure, I want to set 1 is to 2.2, .2, which is the gamma for a standard screen. And now if we actually have a look at a render, let me just save this. I should have saved it, I just press render. We're getting a much better exposed image. It's looking much nicer. So it's not dark and unrealistic the way in which it was. So that's one way in which we can actually set the render within Maya to look correct. Now, we do have an alternative using the image tool from Renderman, from Pixar. Um, which we can actually set the image tool here for preview style, set it to the image tool IT here. If I render using image tool, I don't need to actually compensate for gamma because it's already doing that for me. So let's just do another quick render. And image tool starts up here and I haven't changed anything. And again, I'm getting a correct looking render. Started to look more interesting, but really, Need some more stuff going on here to make things look right. 
Let's just stop here again for a second and we'll come back with part three in a couple of minutes.